Hello everybody. I uh, recently saw a thing on Facebook and I've been trying to stay off Facebook because I believe social media there's a, a large amount of bias. But this is something that's bothering me because I have daughters and it should bother every father, whether you have a son or a daughter, but especially daughters. And I'm kind of, my heart is, has been kind of heavy from all the division lately. And I wish people would get off narratives and skin color and all this stuff. But but this thing for females is, is really starting to irritate me. Like, so for instance, I'm going to give you the, the thing that I saw where this girl had her face pretty much bashed in and was bleeding all over. Is an MMA fighter. And she fought uh, Fallon Fox is her name. Um, and I guess she got the, she was named best, best athlete of 2020. And she's done this to two women now where she's damaged their skull um, pretty badly. And it's because she is a he. Fallon Fox is a man that says, I feel like a woman, so I'm dropping down to compete at this sport because I can't compete at this level. And here's what's really bothering me. This whole feelings thing has gotten so out of whack that like now everybody can seem to say, like, if I feel this way, therefore it must be so. We're, we're, we're losing all of our morals and values and discernment across the board. And especially with this, because this, this is the part that's bothering me. So someday down the road, one of my daughter's boyfriends can say, you know what, I feel like a woman, that's why I whooped her ass. And I'm saying this because, boy, this is the one thing that I fought people on back in the day. And it was a very passionate thing to me. Don't put your hands on females. My dad taught me this. My mom taught me this. My whole family taught me this. Like, I come from a strong family of Christian values and beliefs that are you don't do certain stuff. You hold the door. You say, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Things like that, and, and, and it's kind of gone out the window, and I haven't ran into anybody else that's like, please don't call me ma'am or sir. And I, I would be like, well, what, what would you like me to call you? Then can I be king or whatever? But, I mean, some of this is so delusional, and it's a psychological issue. And I sat and watched, I've watched multiple people talk about, let's talk about the brain scans. Let's talk about the brain scans. Let's talk, let's talk about the biology. God made them male and female. Now, you don't have to believe in God. You don't have to believe in biology. You don't have to believe in anything. But this whole feelings thing has to stop. It's got to get the brakes pumped on it. And, and I'll tell you this, me and my little brother were talking, Brad. And he was like, you know, at some point, they just need to get their own sport. And, and at this point, I guess, if we're just going to go off the delusional realm and nobody's going to get help psychologically and mentally to help fix this problem, they do need to get their own sport. Because I'm not going to watch too many more females get beat and take third place when they should have been first or second. And I don't know how feminists aren't, like, just appalled at this. Like, it, you guys fought for all these rights to get certain places and... For some reason, th this this doesn't bother you? Like, and, and how many men can say, I feel like something, therefore I, I beat my wife or I beat my girlfriend up? Or I mean, th that's sickening to me and wrong. So I would like this video, yes, to get liked, to get shared. I've tried to be quiet. I've tried to be compassionate. I've tried to not say much about it. And I've tried to be understanding. And I think that's part of the problem is we live around a lot of people that have become so, well, we need to be sympathetic to their feelings. We need to be sympathetic to their feelings. Dude, I'm... I get it. Like, I, I care about your feelings and other people's feelings, but they don't dictate everything across the board. Or what about the Chimo? What about the serial killer? What about, like, at some point, these, some people have very mental, delusional thoughts and feelings, and they can't act them out. So where do we draw the line? Where's the morals? Where's the balance? Where's the guidelines? Where's the discernment? I'd like to get back to, like, like Shapiro says, the Ten Commandments or something else. But th this has got to change because, like, I, I can't watch too many more girls get stomped out because they're not even physically fit like a man to compete in their own sports that they shouldn't have to they've worked their butts off to get to the points that they've gotten to and now people are dropping down and just taking the medals and awards and everything and it's sickening it's sad and those other people need help too think about that like they need help and people aren't actually helping them they're just feeding their delusion it's it's okay you feel okay and they're not helping them help please help them love god love people love y'all this has got to stop sooner this train's... I, I, I don't understand. I, I, please help me. Please help me out.